Welcome to Life of Pigro, it's Andrew here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe after watching this video. Today we're looking at harvesting Jerusalem artichokes and you can see them behind me just here. People who've never grown Jerusalem artichokes, you're gonna learn about them today. They're not like the globe artichokes, the fissile ones, they grow under the ground. And yes, folks, yes, they do give you wind. But you know, it's a nice vegetable. If you like what me, <laughs> of a certain age, most things give you wind. Uh, so why not just add Jerusalem artichokes to the mix? So we're gonna look at them now and the things that you need to do right now to get them out of the ground. So as you can see, lots of growth here and we're gonna have to remove it. Simple reason is it blows over in the wind and if you have Jerusalem artichokes, they grow really high, they can grow up to about 10 foot high. So all we do now is go through with a pair of second tears. You just take off the top growth, you don't need to take it off completely because then you know where the juice tomato chokes are, but you know, straight away you can see <laughs> how tall they get. Uh, just get rid of them. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go over this bed, doing this, removing all the growth, and I'm going to show you what to do next. So as you can see now, all the foliage has been cut back. And I wanted to show you what a Jerusalem artichoke looks like. That's a Jerusalem artichoke. Knobbly, very tasty, got a nutty flavour. This bed should be full of them. All I'm going to use now is a potato fork and we're going to dig it all up and I'm going to show you how easy it is for them to come out. So because of my disability I find it really hard to stand and dig so that's why I like the potato fork. Let's move it up. So see if it comes up. And straight away what we got. There we go, nice big Jerusalem artichoke there. One. Yes, it's a bit muddy because it's been raining loads here, absolutely loads. Another one. Another one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the bed, I'm going to take out all the Jerusalem artichokes, and that's how easy it is to harvest them. If you want to see how to plant them, go to the information on this film and you'll find a link there to how to plant Jerusalem artichokes. So, what does Jerusalem artichoke look like under the ground? And this is what it looks like. It's quite like a potato, it's more like a dahlia really rhizomes on it and this is the edible piece and you just snap it off snap it off discard this bit you don't need this bit at all there's nothing on it compost it just be wary <laughs> you might have jerusalem artichokes in your compost there you are two jerusalem artichokes and it's just a matter again of this is another one i've got i've dug up there we go see sometimes they just fall off as you come in it so there you go, again, there you go, the tinier, but two Jerusalem artichokes into the bucket. And that's what I'm going to do, just keep doing that, lifting them up, it's good, 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 good activity in this bed of worms, I'm shaking worms off the Jerusalem artichokes. There you go, and again, off it comes, off it comes, discard that, eat them. So, finish off this bed. I'm going to go wash some Jerusalem artichokes so you can see what they look like. Robin just went past. So, I've dug over half the bed. I've got a medium sized riddle, sieve for soiling. And I can pick it up. That's half a bed. This is a five by three foot bed. And I reckon, try to hold it. I've put it down, thank you very much. I reckon. There's a good eight pound of Jerusalem artichokes there. Uh, you know, going off a bag of sugar, that's eight bags of sugar in my book. Uh, and the great thing about them is they're really tasty. Let's have a go. We're gonna go wash them now so you can see what they look like when they're clean. Uh, and then we'll let them dry out and we'll be eating them. So I'm at the back of the house. Uh, I'm cleaning my artichokes. And all I'm doing is dunking them in some water putting them in the riddle, letting it drip through. You can see it's dripping through now. Gonna put it in the kitchen, gonna put it on some uh, newspaper, let them dry out. 
don't want to leave them outside like you would with potatoes. Not this time of year because of frost. So I'd rather bring them in, wash the worst of the dirt off them, and then put them onto newspaper, let them dry out, then back them up and start eating them. Let the wind begin. I want to say a big thank you for tuning in and watching this video. We've got plenty more videos on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of this film. Until next time, it's goodbye from me and have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.